I use this a lot. And you see that your origami will be way better if you do something like this. It's one of the tricks that no one shows is wet folding, right? Because origami is essential. In a recent live stream, legendary origami innovator Tadashi Mori explained how he uses wet folding. Here are Tadashi's top three wet folding tips, starting with the basics from Tadashi himself. It's one of the tricks that no one shows, but I use a lot uh, when you apply some water to the paper so it's easier to give the shape to the paper. I fold it here like a, a spring, right? Even if I press the paper, it returns. And that's the problem when you try to shape an origami. You try to fold, you try to do everything, but the paper doesn't stay in the shape you want. In this case, you can just do something like this. You take one paper, one paper stripe, like this one. You roll the part where you want to, to hold the shape. And after you roll the paper, you do something like this, right? You just apply a drop of water here and here and let it dry. So I did this to this paper yesterday and now it is dry. So let's unroll this just to check. Here you can see that the paper is not glued, okay? But as the paper gets dry, it holds the shape way better than if you just fold. See? Wow! That is an incredible result from just adding water. I always thought I wasn't folding the models properly, but now we know Tadashi's secret. In the next section, Tadashi gives an example of a common way that he uses wet folding. Let me give you one example. When I make the legs for, for a dragon, for example, it, it gets really, really hard to fold the paper. So you make folds like this, but then the claws will start to separate from each other. Everyone who, who makes complex origami knows that the shaping part gets really hard sometimes, right? The legs doesn't stay in the shape you want. And this dragon, you can see that the origami is maintaining the shape I want. Even the legs, when you make this kind of folds, it, it gets really hard to, to make the paper stay in the correct, correct shape. One example of what I do, I just use something to, to hold the paper. It's not good to, to just hold like this because it will leave marks. So you can use anything to make it get flat. So I just use these things, right? And then apply some, glue, some water here in the middle and let it dry, let it get dry. And then here, it's the same thing. The paper is, is too loose, so you just roll the paper, hold the paper in the shape you want, apply some water, and then let it get dry. What a powerful tip from Tadashi. You can only imagine the huge number of applications for this technique. And didn't that dragon look awesome? In his final tip, Tadashi explains how he uses wire to get the perfect leg shape. Another thing I, I do sometimes, I place a small aluminum wire here, see? So it can even hold the angles right. So this one I prepared yesterday, applied some water, now it's dry. How do I apply the water? I apply with my hand, you know, just uh, put a drop of water on my finger and place where I want to, to make the paper lose tension. And that's all. There's no secret. And as you can see here, I didn't use any sort of glue, anything. I just used some water. Even the angles here are held in shape. Wow, Tadashi sure did bring the fire today. In a moment, Tadashi will summarize the wet folding process. But before that, if you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate you giving it a like. I'm Jason, and this is Essential Origami. This channel focuses on origami and book folding tutorials. Now, take it away, Tadashi! I just hold the paper in the position I want, and then just apply some water. 
and when it gets dry, it will hold the shape really well. And that's something I use in almost every origami. I use this a lot. And you'll see that your origami will be way better if you do something like this.